Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting, I would say like quick and relaxing algebra question. You can see this question in the middle of the screen here, we have three times, we have parentheses, three minus three divided by three. And of course we need to find, we need to solve this question. So right now we have four options, option A, option B, option C and option D. So choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer to this question? And write your solution down into the comment section in two or three lines, you can easily solve this question. And of course we will check your answers here in few units, it will be really interesting. So what makes all the difference in the world if the order we do this problem? Do we do like subtraction first? Do we do division first? Maybe we need to evaluate like parentheses or maybe we need to multiply three times three right here in the beginning, okay? So it turns into a big argument. A lot of students arguing with each other because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer. For example, just look at this quick example. So we have parentheses, so let's start with this subtraction. So we have 3 minus 3 equal to 0. The next thing we have division by 3, so 0 divided by 3 we have inside parentheses. Of course we have this 3 behind it, so we have 3 divided, 0 divided by 3 equal to 0. So we have 3 times 0, 3 times 0 equal to, equal to 0. We have this option, this is option B, so maybe a lot of students solve this question like that. Another part of students say, okay, this may be wrong, we can't solve this question like that, maybe we need to multiply 3 times 3 at first. We have right here multiplication, so as a result we have 3 times 3 equal to 9. Uh, the, the next thing we have minus 3 times 3 equal to uh, what do we have right here? 3 times 3 or 3 divided by 3. So, you know, a lot of combination and I'm I'm not going to pay attention to these things because in terms of math, it's really bad thing like to solve this question randomly, just to get what we need to do at first, like maybe subtraction, division. We need to know a correct principle, correct algorithm. How can we solve this question correctly and step by step? What I mean right now, correct principle. Right here, what do we have? We have multiplication. Okay, let's write it, multiplication. The next thing, we have subtraction. The next thing, we have division right here and moreover we have like parentheses right here so that's all we had and we have all the times three so that's all the elements we have in our question multiplication subtraction division parentheses and we have all the times three this one is not necessary for us because it changed nothing for us but to be honest the correct principle is to order all of these elements that we have in our question so we need to say what we need to do at first like subtraction division multiplication but with 100 percent guarantee we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem and then after this step, we're going to say that we have a correct, a correct answer, you know, and it's really great, uh, really great thoughts right now, because we're going to look at it in a perspective of order of operation. Here is our order of operation. <clears throat> Okay, this order of operation is called PEMDAS, and this order will tell us what is the correct order to perform all of these mathi mathematical operators that we had before. Here is here you can see it. Okay, so each of these letters stands for something. So, for example, letter P stands for parentheses, and uh, the highest priority, of course, has parentheses. We need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses first, and we can talk about this type of brackets because uh, this type of brackets. So we're talking about basically we're talking about group and symbols, and right now let's scan where do we have uh, where do we have our uh, group and symbols oh first of all let's uh, let's evaluate this PEMDAS real quick quickly so because after parentheses we go to the next step is exponents we need to find where do we have for example 4 to the power 10 we need to find all of these powers so don't be scared about it for example 5 to the power 5 yeah we need to evaluate all expression with the power okay so after exponents we go to the next step the next step is multiplication and division groups so m stands for multiplication D stands for, for division, okay? This is our next step. We need to evaluate the expression with multiplication and division sign. And to be honest, uh, this is like uh, multiplication and division had the are tied for priority or importance. So whenever we have expression with, for example, uh, 2 times 3 divided by 5, we need to perform multiplication first because multiplication comes first from left to right. And when we have 2 divided by 5, for example, times 3, we have right here division sign at first. So we need to evaluate division sign right here at first, 2 divided by 5, and right here multiplication sign. Okay, so I really hope you get this point about multiplication and division. And in conclusion, we have A stands for addition, S stands for for subtraction. So it was a quick introduction about this, about this PEMDAS order of operation. And right now, let's go back to our question. Here you can see our question. And right now, let's learn, let's try to learn how can we mm, apply this PEMDAS to this question. Okay, let's do this right now. So first of all, let me just er erase all of these underlying things right here because we don't need it. And right now, let's look closely what we have in our question. When we have this type of question, every time write this PEMDAS from left, from left to right, because left side has the higher priority, right side the lower priority. And let's start with the first 
first one. The first one is parentheses. Let's scan where do we have our parentheses in our question. Let's look at it. These type of brackets, these type of brackets, or these type of brackets. Let's scan where do we have it. Yeah, we have parentheses right here. So the first thing, we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. And the most complicated thing right here is that we have right here a mixture of subtraction and division. So it's not like 3 divided by 3 inside parentheses, which is really easy for us, which is 1. Right here we have a mixture of subtraction and division and to be honest we need to know what we need to do at first because subtraction and we have division we can do subtraction first we can do division first but what is the correct or correct order of operation in in terms of PEMDAS order of operation let's look closely we have subtraction so let me just underline that with the green color yeah we have right here subtraction and we have division so we have d and s so we have a uh, division right here at this point and we have subtraction and as i told before uh, we have um, our line from left to right and it means that left position have the higher priority than the element on the right position and if you look closely we have d and we have right here s and the first over the first letter which comes first from left to right is this D. So it means that we should perform letter D at first, but letter D stands for division. So we need to perform division first, okay, according to according to our order of operation. So let's leave this expression like that. So we have three at the same beginning. Don't skip any of like values right here. So we have three. The next thing we have the same beginning, three minus, and three divided by three equal to equal to one. Okay, so we complete this step. But before going to the next step after parentheses step, we need to subtract 3 minus 1 because we have to complete it. And then after this, we go to the next step exponent. But to be honest, we don't have exponent in this question. As I told before, we need to find powers like 3 squares. We don't have any of those in our question, so we can easily like skip this part. We don't have it. Okay, right now let's complete it. Uh, let's uh, we'll subtract 3 minus 1 because the first thing we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. So as a result, we have three. We have times three minus one equal to equal to two. Okay, and as you can see, we complete this parentheses part, so we can underline it. We complete this part. What about exponents? We don't have any of those. We can easily reject this part. And if you look closely at our questions, so right now in in a lot of per, in, the, in a huge percentage of cases, you don't need the order of operation for each of these steps. You don't need this order of operation, for example, at this point, because right now we have three times two. So at this point, you don't need this order of operation. So in a lot in a ninety percent of cases, you need or this order of operation only when you have a complicated when you have a mixture of like subtraction division multiplication then in a few steps in this step in and this step we have really easy expression so you just need to look at this pemdas in terms of like which which letter had the higher position so the first letter p parentheses okay let's complete it but inside parentheses we have subtraction and division what comes first from left to right of course, D, D comes first from left to right, and in, in the end, subtraction. So we complete the parentheses part, which is quite easy for us. And right now we have 3 times 2, which is equal to which is equal to 6. So according to PEMDAS, correct answer is, is 6. I really hope you get this point, and I really hope you understand uh, why 6 is a correct answer. So right now let's go back to our question. So as I told before, let me just erase all of this stuff, because in the beginning we, we think that uh, 0, we thought that the 0 is a correct answer, but if you look closely, this is absolutely, absolutely wrong. <clears throat> absolutely wrong approach because right here we have parentheses at first so this is our first step parentheses the next step we have division so right here we have d i'm going to underline it with this line so we have d division third step is to subtract right here so we need to subtract our whole parentheses from left to right so subtraction right here this is our third step and the fourth step this is basic <clears throat> basic multiplication so here's my explanation to this question and if you choose correct answer b well you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is wrong answer what about two maybe a lot of students can solve and say that the correct answer is two three times three nine nine minus three we have we have six maybe a lot of students like multiply this three times three we have nine nine minus three we have six six divided by three equal to two maybe a lot of students say that correct answer is two and when you say correct answer is two well you need to review a little bit your basic math this is wrong answer just forget about these two uh, two options what about our correct answer as i told before correct answer in our case is option 
is option D and I really hope your answer is the same as mine and you can easily be proud of yourself when you choose this option and when you choose this option D. So uh, I want to underline, I want to um, get you a few assessment about this about this question. So let me just erase all of this stuff and I'm going to give you a uh, really interesting information. So uh, in 99% of cases we don't have these parentheses and we have only mixture of addition, subtraction, division and multiplication okay this is our in a lot of percent of cases we have only these mathematical operators we don't have like maybe sometimes we have parentheses but it's not that hard to work with parentheses because uh, just remember that in 99 percent of cases parentheses has the highest priority in 99 percent of cases we can work like that parentheses has the highest priority but inside parentheses of course we can have like inner parentheses we can have it but in most percent of cases we have this basic thing we have addition uh, we we have uh, addition, subtraction, we have addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. We have only these four mathematical operators, the basic one, okay, because everyone knows about these four mathematical operator this is the basic one and forget about this parenthesis a little bit and right now let's look closely at this mixture so whenever we have a mixture of addition subtraction division and multiplication we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right but we need to group it okay the first thing we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication division signs we need to work all the signs and after do the thing with multiplication and division we go to the last step the last step is addition addition and subtraction so the first step in 99 percent of cases we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication division sign you need to divide all of this you need to add all of this and in the end we need to we need to subtract or add and here's like a quick example uh, you, I hope you you will understand it so here's the main rule whenever we have a mixture of multiplication division so let's write something like that so we have 2 times 2 minus 3 divided by 4 times 5 minus 7 plus 8 minus 4 times 2 so whenever we have a mixture so just forget about parentheses real quick because in 99 in a lot percent in a huge percent of cases we will have like expression without parentheses okay and we have a mixture of multiplication division subtraction and addition so we have all the case that I told before and first of all we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication and division sign so right here division multiplication right here addition we're not interested yeah we have right here multiplication so the first thing we need to put imaginary brackets in our head so we need to multiply two times two the next thing we have to we need to solve this one and we need to solve this one and after that we have um, for for example right here four we have this minus and step by step we get closer and closer so this addition subtraction is in the end in the end and before this we need to evaluate the expression with multiplication and division so i really hope you get this point because this point is extremely important right here because a lot of students know about parentheses but sometimes they forget about um subtraction and division what is the which elements had the high priority in our case division first subtraction second and multiplication third and of course evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first so here's once more you can see this solution about pemdas order of operation uh, parentheses first division subtraction and multiplication here you can see this pandas order of operation and few th few thoughts about this about this type of question and you know uh, try to plug in the whole question from left to right when you want to plug in when you want to test it on your calculator because you know sometimes happen that a lot of calculators work with problem as you type it in so for example you plug in uh, you plug in uh, three and three and your calculator sometimes give you right here uh, nine yeah but in in most percent of cases you need to you need to plug in the whole question from from left to right and then a calculator is like okay i have parentheses i have subtraction division multiplication so i know everything about it and i know order of operation so in in the 99 percent of cases your calculator is happy about it when you plug in uh, the whole question from left and uh, from left to right so i really hope you understand this explanation i really hope you learned something new definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of questions on my youtube channel i have a lot of a lot of videos on my youtube channel i have a lot of uh, challenges every day not hard challenges this is an easy one but maybe a lot of students want to learn basic math so i really hope you you get the point in this video and you understand my explanation and if you choose the sensor six i'm really proud of you of you and i want to say thank you for for watching this video thank you for 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 write your respond in the comment section i really appreciate it and i'm happy about you when you choose this answer d it's really great then you should be proud of yourself 
which is extremely important thing and not only in terms of math in terms of basic life skills it's really great to know how can we calculate all this stuff without any problems so once more here's our order of operation here's our uh, quick thoughts quick hints to this question so i really hope you, you understand it and you get the point so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day see you in the next videos